for triple integrals, sometimes uh, it's easier to compute uh, with cylindrical coordinates. Uh, first, well, let's see what is cylindrical coordinates. Generally, um, we determine a point in the space by x, y, z. Now we use uh, the uh, our new coordinates uh, we call r, theta, and z. Use new coordinates to determine this, this, this same point, maybe the same point. And what is the r? The R and R theta and Z. The R we that is we uh, take a uh, we uh, we draw a line passing this point and. Uh, uh, perpendicular to the x o y x o y plane. Then there, this is the intersection with x y plane, and then we draw a line from the origin to the point. The distance, the distance between the origin and this point is the r. And theta, theta is this and the angle between between this line OP and uh, x axis. This is the theta. The the length of this line is r, and the angle between this line and x is uh, theta, and uh, the distance from the, uh, maybe this we call Q. The distance PQ is uh, uh, is Z, or just the Z coordinates. So the R is the distance OP. The theta is the angle between. Uh, OX and OP. Z is the, is the uh, third coordinate, the coordinate. So we can view the cylindrical coordinates, coordinates as a polar coordinates at the Z axis. Or the polar coordinates. In X O Y plane. And at uh, Z axis. The polar coordinates are at one dimension. One the I this dimension is perpendicular to the x or y plane. And the theta uh, always between 0 and 2 pi. That's the same as the theta and r the same as polar coordinates. r is great or equal to 0. z is the z axis. This, that's the cylindrical coordinates. So we use the same method to find r and theta uh, with polar coordinates. And this uh, is especially used in the in condition that the, the that the region is. Uh, circle cylinder.
especially in circle cylinder. Especially for circle cylinder. Okay, in circle, uh, in circle cylinder, we use this uh, cylindrical coordinates. Maybe it's easier to evaluate the the triple integral. And how to change the rectangular to to the cylindrical coordinates? Uh, how to find that? It's especially for the dv. Actually, dv is uh, the r dr d theta and the dz. Why? We can divide, subdivide the region by by the by the r equals constant and theta equals constant and uh, z equals constant subdivide region by z uh, r equals constant when r equals constant that is actually the circle the different constant gives different different uh, radius this is r equal maybe r equals r2 is r equal r1 and then that's the uh, r equals constant and uh, z equals constant gives us the different the z equals r constant and uh, z equals r const uh, equals constant then it gives gives here gives this this part so that's the dv that's dv then the dv how to evaluate dv that is this part and this is the change of r that's dr and this is d theta and this uh, this part is dz so the uh, volume for this small uh, uh, this uh, box this box then the volume uh, we we know we can ch choose the point in the in in the center in the center of this box. So the uh, uh, so the same as polar coordinates. So we know that the area for this part, area for this part to for the base, area for the base. Error for the base is the same as polar coordinates, the dA, that is r dr d theta, and the height, the height is actually dz, so the, the volume is r dr d theta times dz. That's the uh, that's the uh, volume and the dv the volume element. Then we use the same method to find the the upper limit and the lower limit. Actually, if we want to find the upper limit and the lower limit for r and theta, is um, projection. Uh, project region to x 
or by plan to find uh, to find uh, R and theta for Z for Z use the same method as use the same method uh, uh, same method as rectangular as rectangular coordinates if it's bounded by the two surface and something like this and this is c equals g2 x y is g1 x y and this is the region d then the volume uh, in the region the triple coordinates d v can be write as z is z is from g1 x y to g2 x y and f x y z d z d x d y is the the outer integral is integral for d but if we change to the polar coordinates then the d use polar co uh, 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 the cylindrical coordinates the uh, cylindrical co coordinates we change x y to r theta x uh, the relation actually the relation the dv is r d r d theta d z and x equals r cosine theta y is r sine theta and z is the same as z that's the relation in between uh, cylindrical coordinates and uh, the uh, rectangular coordinates we use this relation that's g1 x right as r cosine theta y as r sine theta the same as g2 r cosine theta r sine theta and then f change to r cosine theta r sine theta and z dz dx dy as first d r then dz d r d theta that's the computation uh, for for the upper limit and the lower limit for z is this z is the same as uh, is the same as uh, rectangular coordinates uh, use the uh, upper surface and the lower surface surface and change x y to be r cosine theta and r sine theta and then find the upper limit and the lower limit for r, r and theta in the x y plane let's see uh, the examples first example we evaluate the integral v z dx dy dc where v is the region uh, the region enclosed by actually is is a ball enclosed by oh no not ball enclosed by z equals x square plus y square is parabola and z equals 4 so first we draw the graph for any double in, uh, for any triple or uh, double or triple integral we draw the graph first x equals y uh, y z equals x square plus y square is a parabola and this 
and uh, z equals 4 is the plane that z equals 4. So it's like a, a ball with cover. So the okay. Uh, so for z, we can write the v as uh, r theta z. The 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 upper limit and the lower limit. The upper limit is z equals 4. The lower limit is x squared plus y squared. And use the, use the relation x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. So x squared plus y squared is r squared. So the, the lower limit for z is the surface z equals x squared plus y squared. And x squared plus y squared is r squared. And how to find the r and theta? Then we project the, the whole region to the xy plane. The xy the whole region uh, project to the xy plane is actually x squared plus y squared less or equal to 4. It's a, it's a disk. This disk uh, includes the origin. So the theta is between 0 and 2 pi, and the r is greater than 0 uh, because the, the least r is 0. And we draw the ray from the row region and the uh, upper limit for r is x squared plus y squared equals 4. That, that means as r equals 2. So r, the upper limit for r is 2 because the ray um, outside the region um, by the uh, by the x squared plus y squared equals 4. That is r equals 2. So the upper limit for r is 2. So the triple integral z dx dy dz that v for z for theta is from 0 to 2 pi r is 0 to 2 and z is from r squared to 4 and then dz uh, z and r dz d r d theta this part is a dv this is a dv we divide, uh, we integrate integrate z first 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2, z is uh, times 1 half z square from r square to 4, then dr d theta from 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2, uh, r times uh, h when z equals 4, that's uh, 16 over 2 that's that is h minus one half r of 4 then dr d theta 0 to 2 pi that is h r minus one half r of uh, 5 so that is 4 r square minus uh, 1 over 12 r of 6 uh, from 0 to 2 then d theta d theta is 2 pi uh, r equals 2 uh, that is 16 
minus 1 over 12 uh, R of 6 uh, that is uh, 64 that is 2 pi mm. that's 16 minus uh, 3 divided by 4 16 uh, the, that is 2 pi times uh, that is 48 over 3 32 over 3 that is uh, 64 pi over 3 that's the uh, use the cylindrical coordinates to evaluate the triple integral let's see another example evaluate the integral triple integral x square plus y square dv where v is enclosed by enclosed by x square plus y square equals 2z and z equals 2 <coughs> first we draw the graph x squared plus y squared equals 2z, that is z equals 1 half x squared plus y squared, so it's a cone. And z equals 2 is a uh, plane, so that is cone with cover. And uh, the maximum part for, for the region, we uh, is z equals 2 and uh, z equals 2 and 2z equals x square plus y square that is uh, 2z equals 4 so that is x square plus y square equals 4 so the uh, projection to x y plane uh, is this part is x squared plus y squared equals oh, the disk is less or equal to 4 and for the uh, upper limit and the lower limit for z the lower limit for z r theta z Uh, the z is between uh, one half x square plus y square uh, and uh, z equals 2. So we use the relation r equals uh, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta and z equals z that's the relation between the uh, cylindrical coordinates and uh, the rectangular coordinates so the r uh, the z is less than two uh, bigger than one half r square because x square plus y square is r square and uh, the, for the polar coordinates in x y plane, that is x square plus y square less than four, less or equal to four. So theta is between zero and two pi, and uh, r is between zero and two. With we can see from this, this example that is the uh, this. Uh, the upper limit and the lower limit uh, bec become very simple use the cylindrical coordinates so the v x square plus y square 
dv the tree per integral theta is from 0 to 2 pi and r is 0 to 2 z equals uh, from 1 half r squared to 2 and x squared plus y squared is r squared and dv is r dr d r d z d r d theta Uh, Z and the actually is Z, so that's R cube, two minus one half R square, then D R D theta D uh, R D R D theta. From zero to two pi, that's two R cube. That is one half R R four. That's R five. One half R five. So that is minus. Uh, 1 over 12 r of 6 from oh that's 0 to 2 from 0 to 2 then d theta uh, d theta so actually there is no theta here so we can write directly that theta is 2 uh, d theta that is uh, 2 pi r equals 2 that is Eight uh, minus one uh, six uh, six four over twelve. That's two pi. That eight minus uh, sixteen over three. Uh, three. That is uh, sixteen pi over three. Yeah. So actually, uh, when the projection of region uh, on X O Y plane. is a disk then it's easier from this to a example then it's it is easier to evaluate uh, or disk or a part or, or, or part of disk Then it's easier to evaluate triple integral in with coordinate triple integral with uh, cylindrical coordinates. Integral. That's the cylindrical coordinates. Uh, we can see another example. One more example. Uh, evaluate the triple integral x times y dv, uh, where v is enclosed by uh, where v is the first coordinate. Uh, where is the first coordinate part, uh, or first coordinate part? Uh, first quadrant. Enclosed. x square plus y square equals 1 uh, 
z equals 1, z equals 0, x equals 0, y equals 0. Uh, first, we draw the graph. Because it is, it is says that it is the first quadrant part. And uh, x square equals x square plus y square equals one, and uh, x equals x equals zero, y equals zero, x equals zero is this part. It's on the y z plane. And y equals zero is x z plane. And x square plus y square is the circle cylinder. So it's so uh, the region is the graph of this region is like this. You can use the dash lens here. Okay, so first we draw write the region in as the set R theta Z. Z is between uh, is z equals 1 and z equals 0 because x squared plus y squared equals 1 as parallel to is a, a cylinder parallel to z axis. So the upper limit and lower limit is between uh, for z is between 0 and 1, these two planes. And the projection to the x y plane is just the the for uh, the one fourth part of the uh, of the disk is here. So the theta is just uh, from zero to pi over two because we we got the projection is here. That's x y. The projection is this part. So the theta, the least angle for the least angle is zero and the biggest angle is just this part that is y axis that's pi over two and r is x from uh, the the least r is zero that starts from the origin and uh, the biggest r is one is x squared plus y squared equals 1. That's the upper limit for r. So the triple integral v x y dv then we change to the uh, cylindrical coordinates. Theta is from 0 to pi over 2 and r is from 0 to 1 and z is from 0 to 1. And x here, x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta, and uh, dv is r dz dr d theta. So there's no no z here in the integrand. So that is from zero to pi over two. 0 to 1. Then z, actually z, there's z from 0 to 1. That's, that is r square uh, cosine theta sine theta then times z. z is from 0 to 1. Uh, that's r cube. There's another r. From 0 to pi over 2, 
uh, this R cube z, z from 0 to 1, so that's actually 1. That's then we integrate for R as cosine theta times sine theta times 1 fourth R of 4, that's 0 to 1 d theta. So that one fourth cosine theta sine theta. That is, uh, we use the u substitution. U equals sine theta. We can use u equals sine theta. U equals sine theta. Then du is cosine theta d theta. So that is u. That is u du u equals sine theta uh, when theta equals zero u equals zero and when theta is pi over two u equals u equals one so that one four uh, times one half u square from zero to one that is one over eight the last example is that the projection is part of a disk. The part this is part of disk. That's actually when the projection into the x y plane is a disk or a part of disk, then it's easier to use the cylindrical coordinates to evaluate the triple integral. It's easier.